Hey, hey, I'm Kelly, your favorite Jeep driving lawyer, mom of twins, or crazy rescue dogs, rescue cat, and rescue guinea pig, who likes to craft in her spare time, is graduating with her degree in sign language interpreting and is trying to, trying to train for Iron Man. If you're new here, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. It sends me a message, it boosts my serotonin and my self esteem. And I could use that. And if you are a returning friend, you already know the crazy you're in for. So grab your drink, sit on back, and let's have it. Okay. This last week. Woo! Woo! We just, you know what? Again, I'm going to say it again. I thought that by being done with all of my homework and everything, that things would sort of, I don't know, that things would be easier. I'm not sure that's true. Um, I'm just as busy, but I'm busy in different ways. Um, I have made it a point that every day I'm trying to purge and reorganize, just even just even if it's just a cabinet or a little area. And I've managed so far to I I deep clean the bathroom, but I do need to. Um, I'm going to go through the cabinet that's in, like, the cupboard that's down there. Um, and I may go through my makeup and purge some of that, too. Because there's several shades of, like, lipsticks that I, like, they're not me. They're not me. So why why let it take up space? I purged the Tupperware today. I purged, I matched all the socks and threw out the, the remnants. I cleaned the pots and pans cupboard and organized those. Um, the laundry is done. So we're slowly just doing little, and that right now is working. Like I feel anxious until I have that chore done and just bringing it down into bite-sized pieces. Again, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. Um, so that is helping. The other thing that I'm doing is, uh, well, yes, I'm still looking at my 24 and 24. I'm still looking at my WIPCO board. Um, I'm breaking them down. So, like, I'm just, I'm trying not to get overwhelmed by the amount of things that are still on those boards. Um, I retained a tutor to help me prep for the BEI. Um, and to just have that one-on-one -on -one focus and critiquing and feedback. What else? Um, waiting on the transcripts so that we can get going on that. Um, so yeah, little bits by little bits. Um, I'd like to say that tomorrow my big cleaning thing is to gonna be to clean out Elmo. And to like scrub him, like go out there with the cloth and wipe everything down and and that that definitely because it's bothering me. My bougie boy needs a bath. And it's funny because if you ask me now what his name is, I almost think his name should be Bougie Boy because that's what I call him. He's my bougie boy. So Elmo is my bougie boy. For those of you who are not here new not for those of you who are new here i drive a jeep jku so it's a 2008 jeep wrangler rubicon and he's bright red so his name is elmo but he's very bougie because he's got george was a very basic jeep um like george still had manual windows and things elmo's very bougie compared to george <laughs> Um, William had a concert this last week. It was really good. What we have realized is that, so, um, my son is not very tall. My son is about five, six, five, six and a half ish on a good day. So when he sits down next to some of these guys who are like six foot, who are sitting in front of him, you really can't see him until he like tilts his head or whatever. So we're going to have to get William a princess pillow to sit on for concert. Um. It was sort of a bittersweet concert. They're closing the um, 
the campus that had housed the that band as well as a sign language interpreting program. It will be closed as of this the end of this fall. They're moving the sign language interpreting program is going to Orchard Ridge, which is a, a lovely campus, and they're doing some amazing um, new buildings and things like that. Um, many of the programs that were housed at Highland Links are going to Orchard Ridge. Which is great, except for that the band is not going to Orchard Ridge. The band is going to the Royal Oak campus. This makes me sad because the one benefit that I always had to taking William Still to the Highland Lakes campus on Monday was that I got to still see like my friends in the SLI program that are a year behind me and be able to throw up hands with them and and keep and just keep going. Um and so in the fall, I won't really have that luxury. And it kind of sad. Um, I think the, that William has a plan for the fall. Um, and that is to take, he's going to go back and take some classes again. But he's looking at focusing just on some music classes. Those are classes that seem to be easy for him, that he's successful in. And that may kind of help him turn the corner and be back on track. Um, so I am supporting that decision. Um, Bean is going to take summer classes. She's thinking science and I think maybe two science classes or science and English. So um, I got to go and interpret Saturday night, late afternoon for Earth Day celebration in Royal Oak. Um, I even got to stand up next to the presenter and sign a bit. Um, so it was very cool. I'm pretty sure that Every single photographer that was at Earth Day Celebration when we were there took a picture of us signing. Uh, just funny, but like, whatever. Um, it was very cool. There I bought, I bought something. I bought something. I wanted raised flower beds. I think that will be easier on my back. And so I bought, the woods are all, the woods, the wood is all cut. So all I had to do is, okay, all Bean has to do is screw them together. <laughs> okay, for those of you who are new, I have twins. They're boy-girl twins. They're 23, 22. They don't turn 23 till November. It's Bean, who is my daughter's nickname. That is not her real name. It's her nickname. Bean is my mechanical science chick and if one of my kids is going to rule the world possibly for evil it will be Bean the other is my son who we commonly refer to as the boy child um, my boy oh. child is my music kid he's my artsy emotionally driven kid um they are very different personalities. And I love that about them. Um, it was fun because they both went with me to interpret. And they both know the basic ASL. But it's fun to, because they go with me, not on a regular basis, but... Occasionally, um, and I'm watching their skills build, even though they're not in the program and they're not in those classes. I'm still watching their skills build and their that their sign language develop. And <laughs> okay, so the funniest thing is, my one mentor is telling me her zip code to fill out a form, and I was like, four. And she signs this. And I say nine. And she says, <laughs> she does it twice. She's signing nine. <laughs> or she's signing eight. Eight. 
And she did it twice because she's got two eights in her zip code. And I'm like, four, nine, blah, 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 nine, blah. And William goes, I'm pretty sure she said eight. And I was like, so I go. It's like random. It's just like, yeah, he got it. He got it right. again. Sure enough. Yeah. So kudos to my kid who's only had ASL one. Uh, it didn't even pass it. Out there. Caught it. Um, I don't know. For some reason, I, I those two, it always throws me. And I don't know why. And I can't figure it out. Because the second I can figure it out, I can fix it. But I can't figure it out. Um, my big girl is sitting here. And she is wanting some love. Um, so, so that, that was kind of funny. Um, so I had to use my own, my own kid was my, my team. Um, so yeah, so that's really been, I mean, we've just been kind of, I will say going back to a paper planner, not everybody is into a paper planner. I get it. My advice to everybody when trying to figure out is. Try different things. I have tried for years to do my calendar and my planning on my phone and then just do lists and stuff. I'm a paper planner girl. I will I will probably die a paper planner girl. It's what works for my ADHD brain. And I can't, and I've tried to even do the um the happy planner. And for a while, that was really great. And then there's just too many, like, there's too many pages. You've got the main calendar, and then you've got your day planner, and then you, and your weekly, and I, I can't do it. So literally, I use a $5, I don't even think it was $5, from Walmart, and it's a two-year planner, so even better, Um, because then at the end of the year, I don't have to carry on two. Um, and every month... I have to turn to a month where I don't have client stuff on here. Cause I literally throw my client, my court dates on here. And what I found out is like when I have a zoom hearing, I write the zoom code right on my book because before I was like, I would still have, to, I, I would have to go search for the zoom code and everybody's got a different zoom code. And it's like, Shh. now I just write, as soon as I have the zoom code, I write the zoom password, like the code right next to the hearing date and who it's for. Um, but it's literally, that's all it is. And then I can write my list here if I have whatever. But what I usually do is, so I have a little paper clip and I can put a separate things to do paper right there. And that works out really well for my brain. Um, and under my paper clip too, I keep my whip go boards. My 12 by 12 from New Year's Eve, and then my focus in 24. And if I'm pushing, those are my extra push projects. Um, and I know at least one of those push projects will get finished. So yay me. Okay. What did I buy this week as far as cross-stitch stuff? I did buy a pattern off of Etsy and I can't print it because my printer is out of color ink and it looks funny, but basically it says Rosalind Franklin deserved better. Rosalind Franklin deserved better. If you know, know who Rosalind Franklin, and it's for my daughter. She picked it out. She, she's like, she really did deserve better, mom. They really jacked her over. <sighs> Rosalind Franklin is the person is the woman who basically figured out the double helix and the DNA thing. And male scientists took credit for it, but it was really her. And she's one of my daughter's favorite scientists, which I think is fantastic because I love genetics. Um so yeah. So I bought that as a cross stitch. I'm going to make that for her. Maybe for this year for Christmas. Maybe. Maybe. 
as of right now, things are going really well with my goals. So it is quite possible. So that said, we don't have WIPCO numbers for May yet. And that's okay. What I'd like to point out, though, is I'm almost caught up on all of my WIPCO board. And I've even got the center one done. Those of you who know, knew for a while there, I was very far behind. That is no longer the case. That's no longer the case. And quite possibly by the end of April, I will be completely caught up because I don't have that much more left on the one square left for April. So, yeah. Okay. So now that we've that I've rambled for almost 16 minutes, let's talk about my stitching. I did buy one other thing, but I'm going to wait till the end to show you what I bought because I'm really excited about it. But um, we, we need Miss Lizzie to stop being the guard dog. Okay. So we're going to have to do this one-handed because, let's see. I'm sorry. I lied. I lied. I did buy something and it came in. This was on a stash unloading. First of all, I bought these little plastic bags because I was tired of things being like all together or in Ziplocs. And these are working out really great. I bought this little kit. First of all, it came with this cute little bucket. Uh, how, I mean, how could you not with that little bucket? Okay. It's a little teeny tiny kit. I'm hoping you guys can see the kit, the, the picture. It's to make this pin cushion and the, the stuff for the zipper pull. It's all in there. The only thing I have to have is a needle in this in the batting. Well, I have needle, needle I have both of those things. Um, but it legitimately came with the little fabrics. Um, I did start the one, the ghost with the bee. Um let me see if this has got a better picture on here. I don't think it does. It does not. It doesn't. So um, that shouldn't be too hard to get done. That would be a bonus. If not, it'll get done next year and then I'll count it in my 25 for 25. Okay. Um, but that's still not what I wanted like, that I'm really, really excited about. And that's okay. Um. <sighs> I finally got the hit the cricket all hooked up. So we should be seeing some cricket things coming up soon. Because I need to get some projects off. So okay. So in here is the center to my Wizard of Oz. Now Aaron, we've been debating about the red shoes versus the silver shoes. Aaron and I had a conversation. And Aaron is who is getting this as a gift. Um she has that dilemma too. Should it be silver? Should they be red? Should they be silver? Should they be red? And we have decided to, because most people know them by the ruby slippers from the movie, we're going to go with ruby slippers, which means that on the Brooks Books character, she's actually wearing silver slippers. So I'm going to have to trade that one out. So, I went to town on this, and I right now am, okay, I have it loaded in Pattern Keeper. This pattern is from Etsy. Um, don't ask me who it's by. I, I don't remember. I wish I remembered. Maybe I can tell you. I cannot. If you want the information on who it's by, just message me and I will pop it. I, I will answer your message and I will send it. So right now I am sitting at 38.93% done. But. That's the top. So now I know for sure doing the Brooks Books characters one over one. I will have enough room on the top. And because I centered it, that means I should have enough space on the sides or on the bottom too. This is almost the far edge. 
I think it goes out to here. So that may be a tight margin, but I should be okay on the sides too to do what I want. But can we just love that? I love this piece. <laughs> I will admit that this piece gives me almost as much joy to stitch on as Rosie did. Um, which says a lot because I really did love stitching on Rosie. Um, and I miss stitching on Rosie. I really miss stitching on Rosie. Okay. Next up on what did Kelly stitch? Well, I'm glad you asked. I did sorority Saturday and I worked on my armorial bearings. Um, this is on 32 count Joblin, one in the color, one more reproduction from Be Stitch Me. Um, so I got all of this green put in. Oh, it's getting so close to a finish. I think by the end of May, you'll see this one finished. I'd like to say by the end of April, but we've only got like, not quite two weeks, not even two weeks left. So I, I don't, don't think, I think this is going to be a May finish. I think that Santa's Travels will be, um, an April finish, but okay. So then on Sunday, it's stocking Sunday. And I have my lovely bag from Janet. It's a Linux stitch bag. This will always have a project for my daughter in it. And knowing how many science related projects I have slated for my daughter, it will likely always be a science related after I get her stocking done. So I am doing stocking Sunday. And this, you'll see, like, this is her stocking. You can tell my printer is just like, dude, seriously, you need some new ink on the color. Um, but if you recall, Vanessa's stocking is for my son. We have joked that we're going to put Monterey Jack up here, or at least Monterey. couple years back I got my daughter who at that point was like I am never having kids now at least she's like when I have kids I was the same way I'm not worried either way I'm not worried like if she decided not to have children I would I'd be like all right it's your choice it's your body your choice we got her to agree that she was going to name her firstborn child Monterey Jack and if she had twins she could name the other one Colby Jack the irony is my daughter doesn't like cheese. She loves cheese on her pizza. But she doesn't, like, she's never been, like, the kid who would eat a grilled cheese sandwich. Um, she's not the kid who will go in there and eat, like, a slice of cheese or cheese cubes. She's fine if you don't put cheese on her sandwich. Like, she's not a cheese eater. So the fact that she's willing to name her child Monterey Jack. Correct. So this is Monterey Jack. <laughs> Monterey Jack. <laughs> but much but that's why I I joke I've joked that my son's stocking for Vanessa Vanessa's stocking I didn't get to work on Vanessa's stocking, but that's okay. Did, did, did you see All the back stitching in the free world, no back stitching. These stockings reflect these two so well, it cracks me up. So, yeah, so bougie boy, Monterey Jack. So, Vanessa and David. <laughs> okay. I think that's the first time I've ever put them side by side for everybody to see. And that's okay. Okay, so Monterey Jack stocking. So, 
I got the vine, the seaweed started here. This is the outline. And that's as far as I got. My thought is, is that if I can, um, because all of this is just solid blue. So my thought is, is that if I can get the outlines done and sort of put in like, there's another green, it's hard to tell with this copy. There's another string of seaweed here. Um, then like when I'm just need like, I don't want to say brainless ditching, but where I'm not as, I don't want to concentrate. I don't want to have to count. And all I want to do, like just easy stitching. And all I'm doing is filling in the blue. And I had debated doing it on blue fabric. The problem is, is that it's on 14 counts. So you'd see through all the holes and everything. So I really and truly, I am stitching all the background. It's okay, because bougie boys, my son's is full coverage basically too. So, um, but it was nice to get back to working on stock, stocking Sunday. Okay. They did land on there nicely. Okay. So the one I've been working on lately and pushing towards a finish is my whip go piece. It's the last of the squares to get all cut at. Um, and I'm almost, I'm almost done. Stop y'all. I'm so close. I will say I am kind of getting burned out on it. Um, so I had to stop and kind of muddle through. So right now I'm just trying to finish this, all of the green part, and then I'll go in and add the red berries. Okay. What you got, old lady? What is she tearing up? Your, your rally's fry container. Okay. So, um, like today I've just literally been putting in all of this green. So, this is the halfway point. There's one more like leaf of green this way. In the two, like down here, just obviously down like here. Um, but I'll have to go in and add the red berries. But I figure if I can push maybe tonight and at least ideally get the rest of the green done, then this week um, I can get the the reds done. Okay. So right now on that project, so. We have, that is by Barbara Anna. That is a sale from 2021. We don't judge on this station about how long it takes you to finish this sale. The point is you're enjoying it. Okay. So right now, Bar my Barbara Anna is at 87.66%. Okay. I did have one more piece that I worked on. Not a whole lot. This is the piece for my friend's mom. Did I? Well, now I'm starting to second guess. Maybe I didn't work on this since I lost it. It is a picture of his mom and dad. Um, it was taken in a castle in Ireland. It's kind of weird. Like you can see his dad's face starting to come in. Now, if you are really close to it, okay, well, that's not actually bad, but if you're, like, stitching on it, and you're, like, here, you're, like, what? What is that? Um, and then I have to remind myself, trust the process. Trust the process. You know what the picture looks like, so just trust the project. Um, I did not add any more to my peppermint purple black work. Um, and right now I'm still ahead. So I'm, I'm still on track to finish it this year, hopefully sooner than later, but cause that is on my 24 and 24, but it'll get done this year. Like I said, okay. But I did have a finish. I had a finish. I finished it last night. 
it is my 11th finish off my 24 and 24, which means I am almost halfway done. And when I finish Santa's travels, I will be halfway done with my 24 and 24 list. To the point where I had to reprint my list because I had notes on my page and stuff like this. This is my 12 by 12 from New Year's Eve. And I have the Autumn Lane series and the Polar, we've talked about this, in the Polar Pond series. And then I have the Heat Miser and the Snow Miser. I'm missing a couple colors for the Heat Miser and Snow Miser for the Miser Brothers. I did start Snow Miser. And those are over here on my, this is my 24 and 24. And like I said, we now have 11 done. But I think Santa's Travels will be 12. My Sorority Crest will be 13. If I could just suck it up and do the back stitch on my Mermaid Santa, that would be 14. So, what did I finish? I finished Mini Long Dogs by River Drift Design. It's so cute. I don't understand why they made the pattern where this is basically... It's the exact same, just stitched again down below. I don't understand it. I'm not sure I would even understand it if you stitched them side by side, but at least then it could be like a cute little needle book. But up and down, I, I don't know. So I only stitched it the one time, and that's fine. But it's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's so cute. Is it perfect? No. Nope. Is it perfect for me? Yep. So. What about... YouTube's not going to screen grab this one. Doesn't matter how hard I hold it up. How long? It won't grab it. It won't. But that is finish number 11 for me for this year. Like I said, um, I think we're close to having finish 12, 13, and possibly even 14 close to being done, which would be really good. Um, that sets me up good. What I'm so here's the question though. Out of all of my whips, and it doesn't have to be a whip that I'm currently working on, any of my whips that you have seen, whether it be the Epic Princess Sal, whether it's the menorah um from Setsuma Street, whether it's whatever, or even a new start from a pattern that I have that you've seen me talk about. <laughs> like I have the little scientist guinea pig for my daughter. I have I have actually a whole series of guinea pigs dressed up as scientists. Uh-huh. Don't ask. I even have a guinea pig like that's on a couch. Like like ooh la la. Um I have that whole series. Like I said, I have several. Um, I would like to start. I I did purchase the Deadly Aquarium Sal from Lola Crow. Um, and I'm going to stitch that on the Glacier fabric that I won from Be Stitch Me. Um, so my concern is that next month she's going to pull another viewer's pick. So somebody needs to pick the viewer's pick to be in place just in case. That one is called because we literally she's going to call in be, in a couple of days before I see you next. So um, go ahead and throw what you think I might should work on. If if viewers pick is pulled, um, you can always work on the periodic table. We can always um, Jeep Van Gogh, the Epic Disney Princess, um, Magic Study, Pandemic. Let me let me pull up my whip list. I mean, I got a whip list. Not only do I have a, a current whip list of like fifty things, um, I also have a bunch of stuff kitted up. So that would be the only thing is like I would ask that we're picking stuff that it either has to be something that I've kitted up, or that um, preferably it's an already a whip in play. So we could work on. Um, Adam's family cell. We could work on Santa from Lavender and Lace. We could work on um, the Courage cell. 
Lady of the Flag, we could work on Home. That was a sell. Um, it pushed me to work um, a whole lot more on the Peppermint Purple Black work. No Planet B, uh, Tree of Life. We have the Unicorn Sal. Um, <laughs> bless me. Uh, let's see. We have full coverage. We have Buffet o Mat. I've been kind of feeling a pull to work on that again. Uh, like I said, G Van Gogh Childhood Memories is super cute, and we don't have much of a start on that. Um. I'm slated to start high tides and toes in the water. Then the little crab lobster flag. As well as Quaker flag. <laughs> oh, sorry. The other one that I've been feeling really pulled to work on lately is... Um, yeah. It's the flag with the words. With the states. For the stripes. That one. I have it all kitted up. I even dyed the floss. And then I bought the fabric from. Riverview Stitches in Monroe. From Ari's daughter who dyes fabric. Um, it's a really pretty piece of fabric. So there's a whole lot of whips to pick from. Like seriously. If you've been around it forever. You know like. I got a lot of whips. We've we've shrank the list, but the list is still long. <laughs> That's why I'm like, I'm trying to plug away on the 24 and 24. Um, so, go ahead and throw down below what you think I should work on. Um, in case the view, viewer's pick is picked. Okay, so the only other thing that I bought, because graduation is coming sooner than... We expect. Um, <coughs> this will be the first degree that neither one of my grandparents is here for. Um, I lost my grandfather in while I was in law school. So he was not with me for law school. And um, that was heartbreaking for me because my grandfather was my biggest supporter for me going to law school. And... I wanted a way to commemorate, <coughs> excuse me, I have a tickle. I wanted a way to have my grandparents with me for this degree. Um, my grandparents had to drop out of school. I mean, they were, their depression. I mean, my grandfather was born in 1918. My grandmother was born in 1921. Um, so neither one of them got to graduate high school. Education was super, super important to them. Um, I am the middle child of the three grandchildren. My grandparents only had the three grandchildren. My aunt is a nun. My aunt has multiple degrees. <laughs> it's great. Um, and I love that. And I've been to her graduations and like, um, my older brother dropped out of high school. So I was the first in my line, I guess, to graduate. Like, my mom has some college classes under her belt, but no degree. So it was always, education was really, really stressed to me. Um, and, uh, and I think that's one of the big reasons why I strive to always keep learning. Because once you learn something, nobody can take that away from you. It's yours. Like, nobody can take that away. From you. Um, and so I wanted a way to commemorate, like to have them with me. And I didn't know how to do that. I was like, how do I do that? And I came across these a while back. And I put it in the back of my head. Like, I need to remember I want to do that. And um, where's my cap? It's a lovely green. It's my first green cap. I have a white one from high school. Both my undergrad and my law school are, are, are black. Now I have green. The only, 
I want one of those floppy caps, so apparently I have to keep going back to school. Um, okay, so the gold tassel is for Phi Kappa Theta. That is the honors fraternity. So it comes with this lovely little gold medallion. And um, the green and white one is the college colors. So that's my college cup tassels. What I found, and I ended up getting them on Etsy. It is not who I originally saw them through, but this was way cheaper. And if you want the link, let me know, and I will um, for sure share that with you. Because her turnaround time, we had a conversation in the middle of last week. She made them for me. The set was like 12 bucks with shipping, and it was in my mailbox yesterday. But there are these great little charms. And they literally have like the little lobster claw kind of things, like you know, like bracelets do. Um, but on them are my grandparents' pictures. And she um I ended up having because you know, they're small. Um I I ended up using a picture actually from when I got married. <laughs> Veronic enough. Um so my grandparents will be with me um, on my chest. And I love that. So when I opened the package, I knew, I knew as soon as I saw the return, um, and I saw them, I just teared up. So very excited about that. So I don't think that's Lizzie. I think it's Oreo. Um, Okay. So, what do we got going this next week? First did you put. So, yeah. So, that was my good thing. So, it's Oreo. What? You want to play? Where's your ball? Hey, where's your ball? Go get your ball. He's getting better. He does follow many. He's so smart. Um, he is learning more and more hand commands. More, we're consistently using them with him. He's using. Um, he's such a good boy. He's getting better. He's getting the puppy. He's losing the psycho pup, puppy energy. And it, it's really been nice. Okay, so this next week, I. We'll have this finished. Come hell or high water. This is getting finished. Um, I need to put in at least one square into the peppermint purple black work. Um, and we'll see what we've go calls are. If not, we'll knock something. We'll try and knock the next thing off of 24 and 24. So, be it the crest, because that's close. Santa Mermaid, that's another one that if you, it's not on my Whipco board, so if you want to pull him for a viewer's choice. Um, we could always work on the Heat Miser, Snow Miser, the Grinch and Max ornaments that's on my 24 and 24. Uh, other than Heat Miser, out of those four, none of them have started yet. Oh, uh, let's see. We could pull out the modern folk embroidery sale. That's not, well, that's weird. I didn't put that one on the um, Whipco board either. Uh, the ant placemats is on Whipco, but it hasn't been called yet, but would love to knock those out. Um, so yeah, so again, leave it down below what you think I should work on and we'll see what I work on. I'm gonna try not to buy anything other than floss to fill in the kind of the gaps on a couple things. Um, <coughs> and yeah, we'll go from there. So remember, you are smart. You are brave. You are beautiful. You are needed. You are cherished. You are loved. You are wanted. I have allergies. Um, <laughs> you matter. So with that, 
Remember, I love you, and I will see you next week.